Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at different options to serve private content using CloudFront and S3. Many online service providers want to restrict access to documents, business data, media streams, or contents that are intended for selected users. Suppose you are running a video streaming site, you would expect that only paid users can download videos from your site. You can use CloudFront signed cookies or signed URLs to restrict public access and serve private content to selected users for a specified time. For example, you can specify expiration time in a signed URL to provide time-based access control. You can further restrict direct access on the origin servers and prevent bypassing the restrictions that you specify in signed URLs or cookies. If your origin is an S3 bucket, you can set up origin access identity or OAI and associate it with the CloudFront distribution. If you have a custom origin, you can set up custom headers in the CloudFront distribution. These custom origins can be Amazon EC2, S3 buckets configured as website endpoints, elastic load balancing, and your HTTP web servers. CloudFront signed cookies allow you to control who can access your content when you don't want to change your current URLs or when you want to provide access to multiple restricted files. Here is how signed cookies work. In the CloudFront distribution, you need to specify AWS accounts as trusted signers, which you want to assign permission to create signed cookies. You need to develop your application to determine whether a user should have access to the content. If so, send three set cookie headers to the viewer. Each set cookie header can contain only one name value pair. A CloudFront signed cookie requires three name value pairs. You must send the set cookie headers to the viewer before the viewer requests your private content. When user signs into your website and meets the requirements to access restricted files, the application returns the set cookie headers in the response and the viewer stores the name value pairs. When a user requests a file, the browser gets the name value pairs returned from the application and adds them to the request in a cookie header, which composes the signed cookie. CloudFront uses the public key to validate the signature in the signed cookie and to confirm that the cookie hasn't been tampered with. If the signature is invalid, the request will be rejected. If the signature in the cookie is valid, CloudFront looks at the policy statement in the cookie to confirm that the request is still valid. If the request meets the requirements in the policy statement, CloudFront serves the content to the user. CloudFront signed URLs allow you to control who can access your content and serve content through CloudFront. Here's how signed URLs works. In the CloudFront distribution, you need to specify AWS accounts as trusted signers, which you want to assign permission to create signed URLs. You need to develop your application to determine whether a user should have access to the content and to create signed URLs for the files or parts of your application that you want to restrict access to. When a user requests a restricted file, the application verifies the user. For example, it checks if the user has signed in as the paid member. If the user has rights to access the file, the application creates and returns a signed URL to the user. The signed URL gives user access to the content in the Edge cache. For example, if a user is accessing the content in a web browser, the application returns the signed URL to the browser. The browser immediately uses the signed URL to access the file in the CloudFront cache. CloudFront uses the public key to validate the signature and confirm that the URL hasn't been tampered with. If the signature is invalid, the request is rejected. If the signature is valid, CloudFront looks at the policy statement in the URL to confirm that the request is still valid. For example, if you specified a beginning and ending date and time for the URL, CloudFront confirms that the user is trying to access your content during the time. If the request meets the requirements in the policy statement, CloudFront determines whether the file is already in the edge cache, forwards the request to the origin if necessary, and returns the file to the user. A trusted signer is the AWS account that creates signed cookies or signed URLs. To create signed cookies or signed URLs, you need at least one trusted signer. Each trusted signer must have its own CloudFront key pair, and the key pair must be active. As soon as you add the AWS account for the trusted signer to the distribution, CloudFront starts to require that users use signed cookies or URLs to access files. When you create signed cookies or URLs, your application uses the private key from the trusted signer's key pair to sign a portion of the cookie or URL. The application then sends the signed cookie or URL to the user. When the user requests a restricted file with a signed cookie or URL, 
CloudFront compares the signed portion of the cookie or URL with the unsigned portion, to verify that the cookie or URL hasn't been tampered with. CloudFront also verifies that the cookie or URL is valid. For example, the expiration date and time hasn't passed. When you create a signed cookie or URL, you write a policy statement in JSON format that specifies the restrictions. For example, you can specify the date and time that users can begin to access your content, expire date and time, IP address or IP range of the users who can access your content. You can use either a CAN policy or a custom policy. A CAN policy is a predefined policy with a specific subset of custom policy, which is simpler than a custom policy. A custom policy is more flexible. With a CAN policy, you can not reuse the policy statement for multiple files. You can only specify the expiry date and time, but not the start date and time. You can not specify an IP address or IP range. With a custom policy, you can reuse the policy statement for multiple files. You can specify the start and expiry date, an IP address or IP range. The signed URL contains a base64 encoded version of the policy, which results in a longer URL. CloudFront signed URLs and signed cookies allow you to control who can access your content. You can consider the following cases when you choose between signed URLs and signed cookies. You should use signed URLs to restrict access to individual files, as you can create one signed URL per file. For each file that users try to access, you create a different URL. If you have RTMP distribution instead of HTTP distribution, you should choose signed URLs. As signed cookies aren't supported by the RTMP distribution. If your users are using a custom HTTP client that doesn't support signed cookies, such as mobile apps, you should choose signed URLs. You should use signed cookies if you want to provide access to multiple restricted files, as you can create one cookie for multiple files. For example, you can provide your paid members to access all your content with signed cookies. You should choose signed cookies when you don't want to change the current URLs. You can secure contents in S3 bucket, so that users can access them through CloudFront, but cannot access them directly with S3 URLs. This prevents people from bypassing CloudFront, and using the S3 URL to get contents that you want to restrict access to. This step isn't required to use signed URLs, but it's recommended. Here are the steps to restrict users accessing files in S3 buckets. First, create a special CloudFront user called an Origin Access Identity or OAI, and associate it with the CloudFront distribution. Next, you need to give the Origin Access Identity permission to read files in the S3 bucket. Finally, you want to remove the permission for anyone else to use S3 URLs to read the files. If you use a custom origin, you can optionally set up custom headers to restrict access. Custom origins include Amazon EC2, S3 buckets configured as website endpoints, elastic load balancing, and your own HTTP web servers. For CloudFront to get files from a custom origin, the files must be publicly accessible. But by using custom headers, you can restrict access to your content, so that users must access it only through CloudFront. This step isn't required to use signed URLs, but it's recommended. To require that users access content through CloudFront, you need to change the following settings in your CloudFront distributions. You need to configure origin custom headers, so that CloudFront can forward custom headers to the origin. You need to configure viewer protocol policy, and let the distribution require viewers to use HTTPs to access CloudFront. You need to configure origin protocol policy, so that the distribution requires CloudFront to use the same protocol as viewers, to forward requests to the origin. After you've made these changes, update your application on your custom origin to only accept requests that include these headers. The combination of viewer protocol policy and origin protocol policy ensures that, your custom headers are encrypted between viewers and the origin. However, it's recommended to periodically rotate the custom headers that CloudFront forwards to the origin. You can also provide access to private S3 objects using S3 pre-signed URLs, if you don't use CloudFront. By default, all objects are private. Only the object owner has permission to access these objects. However, you can share private objects with others by creating pre-signed URLs, using your security credentials to grant time-limited permission to download the objects. You can allow anonymous users to access objects, or upload specific objects in an S3 bucket using pre-signed URLs. To create a pre-signed URL, the root user or IM users must provide valid security credentials. For a pre-signed URL to work, 
the creator must have the required read or write permissions that the pre-signed URL is based upon. For instance, a pre-signed URL can allow the anonymous user to upload the object only if the creator has permission to upload the object. You can generate a pre-signed URL programmatically using the CLI, API, or SDKs. You can use the pre-signed URL multiple times before it's expired. In this episode, we've learned how to serve private content with CloudFront and S3. You can use CloudFront signed cookies or signed URLs to restrict the direct access to S3 or other custom origins. These custom origins can be Amazon EC2, S3 buckets configured as website endpoints, elastic load balancing, and your own HTTP web servers. You can use CloudFront signed cookies to restrict access to multiple files. You can use CloudFront signed URLs to restrict access to individual files. If you want to provide direct access to S3 private objects, you can use S3 pre-signed URLs. Okay, that's all for serving private content on AWS. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.